I'm um, really honored to be invited to this conference by the uh, Hungarian Academy of Science, uh, Central European Academy, Ferenc Madl Institute, Central European Association for Comparat uh, Comparative Law. But allow me to mention to say how actually the name Ferenc Madl plays a very special role for, uh, plays very special role for me. As I started uh, with the researches, uh, with, with researching uh, on um, transformation process in former Bosnia and Herzegovina or another, another uh, uh, socialist, uh, former socialist country, I have um, read uh, one article. It was uh, uh, from Ferenc Madl. It was for me a land ma ma uh, marking uh, a publication under the title Restoration of Property in the Central and Eastern, Eastern Europe. Uh, this paper deeply impressed me and actually shaped my view on the property reform and transformation process. I will come to this a little bit later on, but why I have mentioned the transformation at the very beginning of this, uh, of this uh, presentation, Actually, transformation, codification, Europeanization go hand by hand uh, in this pr process in the post-socialist country. But I'm afraid the Bosnian Herzegovina is caught in the first first part in the, this first uh, phase. It's a transformation. Uh, I like the movie <coughs> Lost in uh, a Translation. And I said often from Bosnia and Herzegovina, Bosnia and Herzegovina is lost in transition. Uh, we will see, we will see uh, why. I have been struggling for a long time. Uh, how will I approach this presentation? Should I give a general overview about uh, past and present and future of Bosnian codification since I'm sure that majority of you are not uh, very familiar with the uh, civil law and its codification in Bosnia and Herzegovina, or to pick up a special issue and uh, research is uh, presented in more depth. I decide for both, of course, due to the restricted, restricted uh, time, I can present this both topic only as a rough outline. Uh, what, what, uh, what I would like to approach in this, uh, uh, is in this um, uh, presentation, first of all, perhaps assess assessment, as the title of the conference said, but it should be a short, uh, general or short overview about history of Bosnia and Herzegovina civil law uh, until the transformation process will the focus on the reform of the property law, which is, according to Ferenc model, the key, uh, the, the key reform within transformation process, uh, and, and under my opinion, actually the precondition for the, for the codification. Uh, then I would like to talk uh, to, to, uh, to present something about uh, about uh, reform of the property law and especially uh, about uh, to uh, tell something about collateral law, respectively security rights over immovable and movable. Why, since this branch of law got a special special role in the uh, market economy and actually has uh, experienced um, a paradigm shift. Uh, uh, and I would like also to, uh, to, uh, to point out that exactly this branch of law is um, very suitable to, uh, to think about uh, uh, transfer of law and how the legal transplant fit in the, in the legal order of receiving on the receiving country. Unfortunately, uh, I cannot share with you any thoughts about uh, planned uh, civil, new civil codification. Bosnia and Herzegovina is complica complicated uh, country, complicated politically, with complex uh, constitutional structure, and 
uh, uh, a little bit on found terrible uh, of Western Balkan. We are three million of people, and I always stress out with 14 legislators, but uh, the li acts, laws, which I will approach here in this presentation or solution are uh, uh, enacted on the level of the entities, Republic Srpska, Federation, Bosnia and Herzegovina and Brčko district. And uh, these law are until now, this is a different law, but uh, harmonized to great extent. So if I said, for example, notary law, I said singular, but I think I multiply this with three. Uh, <laughs> It's the end, actually, of the day, and during which we have here a very, very interesting, very inspirative presentation. And we are a little bit tired, and per perhaps overwhelmed with the information, and Bosnia and Herzegovina is, I'm sure, not in the top 10 of the countries you might be interested in. But let me wake your interest, perhaps, saying that civil law in Bosnia perhaps can surprise you. Uh, Perhaps you expect more exotic uh, topic in this context. Actually, uh, very traditional Bosnia, uh, modern civil law in Bosnia and Herzegovina started at the end of the 19th century with Count K, K, &K monarchy uh, until Second World War and socialist rev uh, revolution was under strong influence of the Austrian law in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, Austrian civil code was not officially enacted, but applied, and is still, uh, uh, is, we apply this uh, code in some uh, issue and topic, this is answer to you, uh, uh, colleague Dudas, yes, in Bosnia and Herzegovina, the legal rule from Austrian civil code uh, uh, are uh, still applied. Um, then uh, this influence from Austrian civil law did not uh, cease during the socialism and actually until, until, until now and uh, uh, has shaped the recent reform of the property, of the property law in Bosnia and Herzegovina. It's under strong influence of the Austrian uh, civil code. The legal order in former socialistic Yugoslavia was characterized by dichotomy between uh, private and uh, state, or the public ownership. The uh, public ownership was uh, bet dominant, has dominant, had dominant role and was better, better protected. But parallel to its it, private ownership order has existed. The private ownership was never abolished, never, uh, also not over the uh, immovable asset, it was greatly restricted uh, regarding uh, very important uh, real estate such as agriculture, uh, uh, land, forest, or construction land, land but very classic uh, private law regime with classic private law institutes uh, with predominant uh, influence by Austrian law uh, uh, was applied. Uh, my colleagues are uh, uh, di discuss about this. We had interruption of the continuity between Kingdom of Yugoslavia and Socialist Yugoslavia, but it was possible to, to apply legal rule, and uh, colleague Budash has explained it is in, in detail. I will only uh, say, uh, say it in, at, this, uh, at the moment that uh, in Bosnia and Herzegovina, predominantly legal rule from Austrian civil code uh, uh, was, uh, was used. Over 35 years, this legal, these legal rules were applied in wide sphere of the um, uh, obligation relationship, also on property relationship. And then, and then uh, influence of the Austrian law uh, diminished, uh, 1955, it was the first uh, uh, succession act uh, uh, which was enacted under influence on the Swiss inheritance law and also obligation, uh, obligation act. It was uh, the Professor Konstantinovich, uh, uh, which sketch was the base for the, for the law, 
has actually applied best law approach uh, research com comparatively, and uh, there is no, uh, not only influence on the Swiss law, but also on the Vienna International uh, con uh, inter Vienna Convention on International Sale of Goods, on, on, on so far. But Swiss law, it's a clear monistic approach uh, for both natural and professional for B2B contracts and B2C and C2C con uh, uh, contract. Also, same legal technique, technique very simple, very uh, transparent, uh, one paragraph, one sentence without cross remark. And it's, uh, it, it could not enough point out how the language is important for the, for the codification. I don't know is the legend or true, but uh, on say that uh, Stendhal uh, used to read the each moon, each day, uh, several articles for Code Napoleon uh, uh, in order to improve his language. Um, the impact of Austrian law is but still uh, present in Bosnia and Herzegovina since land registry law and civil procedure is of Austrian origin, uh, 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 Austrian origin of, uh, until now. How is the civil law codified in Bosnia and Herzegovina? As colleague Dudas said, we do not have codification, but it's a codified. Uh, every important part of the civil law or of one, one civil codification is uh, regulated but by separate separate law and following following um, following uh, pandected uh, uh, system uh, but do we miss a general part of the civil law yes we do but we have learned to cope with it for example uh, the issue of natural person, uh, the issue of person, legal object, subjective right, their exercise, protection, and termination, as well as the legal transaction are not regulated in civil code, which is not existent, but divided, split, uh, split between different laws. The regulation is not complete and systematic, but existent, almost existent. The general part of civil law is so say fragmented in many legal acts and some parts of puzzle are still missing. For example, Obligation Act regulates the contract and stipulates that these rules should be accordingly applied to the every other uh, uh, art of the legal transaction. Uh, capacity of natural person is regulated in familial law and partially in Obligation Act. But what we really missed is a general regulation on legal persons and legal objects. Regarding, the, for example, the companies are regulated in detail by Company Act, but all other legal persons are scarcely regulated in special acts. And this regulation is not systematic and is incomplete and uh, a leading idea is missing really here. While the things, claims, good of intellectual creation are regulated in corresponding laws, personal goods are not. Uh, it can be perhaps pettiness of a law professor, but a general regulation on the legal objects could be help when, when it comes to recognizing of new values and the new entities as a new objects of civil law, for example, data or digital asset. Uh, nowadays, a vast range of other intangible goods are, uh, is offered now to the legal dogmatic, to the, uh, to the legal practice, but we do not have a definition what could be legal, legal, uh, legal, uh, legal object. Uh, Regarding, regarding um, uh, property law reform, uh, uh, I will shorten this part uh, due to the time. I would like also to say that Bosnia and Herzegovina uh, separated from former Yugoslavia as the very important 
reform of the property legal order they are performed. For example, uh, constitutional reform uh, in uh, 1989 and 1990 of former Yugoslavia and in Bosnia and Herzegovina provided for the guarantee of the ownership, uh, abrog uh, they abrogated all quantitative restriction of the private property and equalized all property types, for example, private and public property. For Ferenc model, these three changes represented a cornerstone of the reform of the property regime. And with this reform, the, the, the way for the denationalization, the restitution, for return of the, uh, some assets to the former, to the former uh, owner was paved. And what's happened in 30 years? Nothing. Uh, we, have, we do not have res, uh, law on uh, restitution. We have uh, a prohibition, uh, a prohibition which uh, is in force over 30 years that disposal with some asset which might be uh, subject of the restitution are forbidden, but uh, we do not uh, plan in the moment to have this, uh, this law. Do we need really uh, law on restitution? It was the first step in other socialist country. By answering this question, I will quote Ferenc Madl again. He said, Economist, economists correctly remind us that economically speaking, it does not matter who acquires the legal basis of ownership. It's important who can transfer uh, the, the property. Restitution is absurd and meaningless from this perspective because it imposes looking back towards to irreversible past instead looking forward toward the world of the capitalism that must be created. Uh, I really agree. We are uh, very late. The, ba the basis for the restitution in Bosnia and Herzegovina uh, does not exist anymore. High representative uh, has stated that state Bosnia and Herzegovina cannot uh, take this burden. But what we need, we need a clear political statement. It will not be restitution. And we go only to the future, to the future and forward. Uh, and uh, shortly to the, um, to the security, security right, uh, right over movable and immovable, a completely new legislation has been enacted. And uh, also infrastructure for effectiveness and security of this right. Enforcement law, insolvency law, notary law, land registry, re land registry law. But all this uh, part of puzzle were uh, under different influence. For example, notary law, strongly influenced by German law. Enforcement law uh, and uh, public uh, register law, Austrian. Insolvency law was uh, drafted up in German model. Uh, uh, property law, as I already said, Austrian uh, provenience and, and uh, uh, security right, uh, register pledge of a movable was a clear trans, uh, transfer from the Article 9 of the Uniform Commercial Code of USA. So, how true is the statement from Otto von Bismarck, as he said, laws are like sausages and it's better not to be there when they are made. Uh, but surprising, but true, despite the fact that this branch of law stands, un uh, stands under different influences, and that it's obviously that the reforms in this branch of law were not enacted uh, simultaneously and coordinated, that uh, systematic approach was missed uh, uh, by the legislator, there is a little to complain about this legislation. It offers good and practical solution which guarantee efficiency and security for the creditors. It sounds like a positive assessment, 
as a successful re reform, but perhaps is still only an open option, namely in the implementation of this law, much is far away from this optimistic uh, assessment I have given. Uh, for example, there is some solution in our legal order that can uh, solve some problem uh, which we have in the bank practice, but no one use it. Uh, for example, we have adopted land charge besi beside uh, uh, hypothek or mortgage. Land charge, uh, it was a transfer of the, not of the legal proposal for BGB, but from whole a key developed in, in Germany from scholar, from, uh, from the practitioner in the bank practice, and we have uh, now a uh, mortgage which is less accessory after uh, property law reform. And the bank were very, uh, banks were very happy with this, but uh, and every attempt to, uh, to try to, to, to explain that land charge has even more advantages was failed. Now we have uh, with the framework, uh, framework uh, credit uh, contracts, several problem in the practice which could, be, which could not be solved with this mortgage but could be solved with land charge. No one use it. Or for example, uh, in the, uh, um, regarding this uh, American, American um, uh, register pledge, uh, pledge law, it's a very simple approach. Every security rights on each present or future item, uh, can secure present and future uh, claims. Uh, each security rights is submitted to the same, uh, to the same rules and enforcement is uh, very liberal. We use general, uh, ju judges, uh, courts use general enforcement procedure. They are very in uh, ineffective regarding movable uh, regarding movables and also uh, this system and this register system is almost used to, for registration of the contractual security right on cars. But you can, uh, it, it's, a pro, uh, it's a provided, it's a possible to, regis uh, to register lion, uh, to register uh, seizure, it's mean uh, security rights based on the court decision. So if you have access to this, to this register, you can see each encumbrance of this asset and the priority of this uh, different right. This, uh, this possibility are, uh, possibilities are really not used in Bosnia and Herzegovina. And I, I, I will uh, finish also with uh, one quotation. It's uh, now Kronke, uh, uh, former director of the UNIDRO, um, describing the same uh, registration concept in the Cape Town Agreement. He said, simply liberal, realistic actually modern. And we have this system and we do, did not use, use this. And uh, uh, beside another problem, beside another problem, it's a further problem in Bosnia, Bosnia in Herzegovina. Thank you very much for your attention.